Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Karen Rice. I'm going to be showing you how to paint a beautiful sunflower in watercolour. Here are the materials I will be using. A full list of these will be in the description below with colour alternatives. I will also put some Amazon links in the description below if you would like to purchase any of these materials or those that are similar. To get to the description, just click that little down arrow or click on show more to the left, as you can see from this photograph, and it should take you straight to the description. As I'm going along with the demonstration, I will talk about the materials that I'm using individually, but if you've got any questions, please put them in the comments section below. Shall we get started? I've actually drawn the sunflower in already. As you can see there, I'm mixing up a puddle of cobalt blue, and now I'm mixing up some cobalt blue with some quinacridone rust. You could use ultramarine and burnt sienna or some cerulean and burnt sienna, so there's some good alternatives there for you. And once you've mixed up your colours, wet your paper. I'm using my size 14 round black velvet brush. A link for that will be in the description below. And I'm giving the background, that's all around the flower, a nice soak. Once your sky area is wet, start painting wet into wet. I've started off with the cobalt blue using the size 14 brush, fully loaded, and I'm leaving little gaps to show the little fluffy clouds. And as you can see, when you work wet in wet, you get that lovely soft edge, and it's really nice for painting cumulus clouds. It's got a lovely point to this brush and it carries so much paint. So I really enjoy using it. And I'm just sort of painting carefully into these petals. I'm using this very watered down quinacridone rust with a touch of the cobalt blue for that soft shadow in the clouds. I'm just finishing off now using a tiny, tiny bit of the cobalt blue just to give a little bit more oomph to those cloud shadows and putting it into some of the gaps in the petals. I've blow dried my background and I'm painting with a size 14 brush and I've mixed up the Azo yellow with a touch of Indian yellow. They're the M Graham watercolors and I'm painting each petal wet on dry. If you want to use a smaller round brush, go for it, whatever you feel is comfortable, but really make sure you really load the brush so it's got plenty of paint. You don't want to sort of go on with dryish paint if that makes any sense. Once you've painted each petal, drop a little bit of another colour in there. I'm actually dropping a touch more of the Indian yellow or even a touch of water. It just varies the shade of the sunflower petals. I have to say, to be quite honest, it's a joy to paint this. I'm really, I mean, this brush gives me such a nice point that I can really, with all the paint that's on it, I can, I can paint for quite a while. I'm going to continue working round in a clockwise fashion, painting these flowers wet on dry and then dropping a stronger colour wet in wet. Once you've finished painting your petals, you can paint the center of the sunflower. I've used a lot more Indian yellow here, painting wet on dry using the size 14 brush, really loading that brush, painting around the outside area of the circle. I've just diluted my brush a little there by 
just putting it in the my water pot and I'm just softening so you can actually dilute the color as you can see there so you've got the deeper color and then it's slightly diluted just to the bottom right in this section I've included a lot more of my palette color mixing and water pot just to show you a little excerpt from my extended members video so this is the sort of thing that you'll get and you'll get a lot more explanations and a lot more tips and techniques one member just said recently it's like i'm in the room with you guiding you so if that's something that interests you click on the join button or you can find more details about the membership in the description below and if you've got any questions please put them in the comment section okay back to the sunflower so now I mixed up the Indian yellow with the cobalt blue and I'm painting wet on dry with my size four brush, the center of the sunflower. And I'm leaving a little bit of light there as well. So a little white patch and I'm gonna dilute that color a little bit as well. So it kind of takes it down a tone. So you've got that sort of slightly darker tone. I'm using some sea salt now and I'm sprinkling it on the bottom section of the center of the sunflower and I'm gonna let that dry. And as you can see here now, it's dried and it's got some nice texture and I'm just brushing that off now with my kitchen towel to reveal lovely texture. So I'm just mixing up now some cobalt blue with a bit of the azo yellow. So um, the blue with a touch of the lighter yellow, whether you're using lemon or cadmium yellow pale. And I'm painting some of the leaves. There aren't many, but I'm painting this wet on dry and I'm painting it with a size four brush very carefully around those petals. I'm painting in some of the darker shadows and details on the petals, painting this wet on dry, and then I'm gonna rinse my brush, take the excess water off, and just soften that edge. It's actually a really nice, simple technique. Take your time, just put this little bit of detail in here and there, and it really does bring those petals to life. So once you've finished painting all the shadows and details on the petals, you can start to paint the texture and details on the center of the flower. I'm using my size four round brush. I'm using the quinacridone rust, but you can use burnt sienna. I'm using the tip of the brush to create all these lovely textured marks that are in the center of the sunflower. just going to add a little bit of Payne's Grey now to this wash for the very centre of the sunflower because it's a slightly darker shade. It's exactly the same technique. I'm using the same brush, the size 4 brush, to create this texture for the centre of the sunflower. So 
So I've just diluted my brush. I'm just softening some of these marks. These marks are sort of damp, so I'm just moving them a little bit just to kind of smear them in a way to create a little bit of shadow and to soften them, especially on the right-hand side. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on this bottom right-hand side of the center, just softening a little bit of those marks, a touch of the very watered-down quinacridone rust, and I'm using my large size 14 brush, just putting a few more darker marks here and there, some wet on dry and some a little bit of damp into damp. I've given my painting a blow dry and I just wanna create a few little more darks in between the petals. I'm using the size four brush still and I've got a little bit of Indian yellow and a touch of the quinacridone rust. And I'm just painting that wet on dry and then softening with a little bit of water on those main petals where it requires just that little bit more of a dark accent. I'm using my sponge, it's a natural sponge. I've wet it first, I've wrung all the water out and I'm using it damp and I've just mixed up some quinacridone rust. I'm dipping the sponge in and lightly pressing it gently on the center of the flower. And I'm just mixing up a bit more of a watery wash. I'm using the size four round brush and I'm just spattering a little bit of that dark wash all over the center of the flower. I've removed the kitchen towel now and I'm just putting a few more darks on the bottom right hand side of the center of the sunflower just to give some more darks and details. and I'm painting in some shadow colors on those leaves just around some of the petals. I'm gonna use my stencil brush now. I've rinsed it, I'm taking the excess water off and I'm scrubbing away at some of the yellow petals here just to create a few little highlights. Lifting off with your kitchen towel, pressing quite hard to get rid of any excess paint that you've moved with your stencil brush. I'm using the stencil brush now just to lift off a few highlights in the center of the flower. If you don't have a stencil brush, you can use a bristle brush or a synthetic brush. Don't use a sable brush because it might wear out the point. I'm just putting a few more darker marks now using the size four brush, wet on dry, using the mixture of quinacridone rust and the Payne's Gray. Just thought I'd put a touch more darker shadows for the green leaves here and soften with a damp brush. I'm gonna remove my framing tape now and it reveals this lovely white border which helps me to see if I need to do any more work to the painting but I think I'll leave it there for now. I'm quite pleased with this painting. I do hope you've enjoyed this demonstration with all the tips and techniques with the wet and wet sky and the shadows in the petals and that lovely texture in the center with the sponging and spattering techniques and the limited palette and the lifting off using the stencil brush to create some lovely highlights on the petals. If you have any questions about this demonstration, please put them in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you like this video and you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll get updates of my latest videos. Don't forget, if you'd like to see longer, more informative videos, why not give my channel membership a chance? Just click join and you can cancel anytime. For more information about the membership, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.